today I thought I would make a table. <laughs> oh, not only make a table, but film me making a table. Oh, I'm letting myself in for absolute nutcase vision. So I'm not a carpenter. I'm not uh, terribly good with my hands and um, I could easily just nip down the road and buy something. But no, I thought making a table would make an interesting video. So I'm going to make a table, coffee table for my front room. The thing is, I got my sofa and the other day I was aware that I had nowhere to put my coffee pot. So I thought what I need to do is make a table or buy a table. And I've not seen a table that was ideal. I've got some spare bits of wood and it's miserable outside. I thought, OK, what's the worst that can happen? I waste a few hours. It comes out as a wobbly thing on the slant. It's no good. The coffee falls over. Any time you put biscuits on it, they roll on the floor. It's all going to be rubbish. Uh, but we might have a, a video. Let's give it a whirl. I have... I have left over from the van some bits of old plywood um, and I've got some planks so this might seem a bit basic but it's going to work the other thing is the video is going to be a bit basic um, I've got a light up there the strip light in here is rubbish so in order for me to see so I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with the the lighting being a bit rubbish, I'm not spending a lot of time on trying to make all the shots look sexy because my main aim is to try and make a table. Not even to make it look sexy, but just actually to erect it and see if it will physically stand. If I then throw it away or put it on the SE and burn it, so be it. But if it makes a table I can put one cup of coffee on, I'll be a happy man. So, I've got some other planks outside. Um, and I just need a screwdriver, I need a saw, I need some screws and a little bit of an, an, a yeah, saw and some intuition. All of which is in short supply. Okay, so I've gathered my tools, my wood, I've marked out uh, my table. So I had to make this, this decision. Do I want the table to be surface on the top, sides going down with no sort of lip? And I thought, well, actually, you know, when you like move a table, you grab it underneath before you hit the legs, if you know what I mean, so that the table is just a, hangs over the legs a little bit rather than being neat. And I thought, oh yeah, that would probably be easier just to lift it up. So I've given myself two millimetre, not two millimetres, two centimetres either side. I don't want this table to be too wide, you see. And I've gauged it by the size of uh, the width of... <coughs> the width of two planks, because it's just convenient to do that. So uh, that will be the width bar a little bit either side. So I need to chop these down because they're too long, probably in half. About just under knee height for putting a coffee down. And um, so I think I'm ready to chop it out from the main bit of ply. Not the uh, squarest piece of work I've ever done, but um, hopefully it'll be all right. Right, so the sides I'm going to use from these planks, which I've just laid down here. Um, and as you'll notice, they've already got some battens on because I'd made them into a makeshift table, which actually I was using in the van before I changed my van round. I was using it on the side as a makeshift table. But
but they're quite useful that they are already batten top and bottom. I just need to take the middle one off because I'm going to chop these in half, exactly in half, and then these will be the two sides. So the table will be approximately half a metre, 50 centimetres in height, which I think is going to be okay. So that'll be good. So I'm going to chop it about there. So I need to remove that batten and then put a batten on the top of the table. Um, if I put a batten on the top of the table and I can screw these legs to the batten on the top of the table or at the underneath of the table and then I shall put a bracer along the side and that really is all there is to it. Uh, then I'll varnish it all. I think it's always good to uh, sweep up as you go, especially inside. Um, I've got tiles down, as you know, and uh, I've discovered that sawdust, slippers and tiles whoop, uh, don't match. So now, um, having sorted that out, I've got my battens. Now, as you can see, these are some really gash bit, bits of wood. We shouldn't really be able to see them because they're going to be underneath the table, but they are a bit of a mess. So I've got uh, some sandpaper and although one side is fairly presentable, the other is really just, I mean, I've had these in the garden, to be honest with you, but they're, they're all right. So I'm just gonna give them a bit of a sand down to just sort of smarten them up as, as much as possible. Of course, if I was gonna paint the table, I could actually paint these afterwards, but I, I'm probably gonna varnish it and maybe use linseed oil. But as I say, you won't see these anyway. Okay, um, I filed them down as you saw, or sanded them down as you saw, and I, I've also um, now attached them to the legs. I thought it was easier to attach them to the legs first than attach them to the table and then try and attach the legs to that. So I, but the thing I didn't do was drill the holes in here to attach this to the table, but it doesn't matter because I can still drill them from this side and then screw them in and attach them to the table. And I'll do that, and then once I've got those two done, holes in there and attached to the table, um, I will need then to fix the braces in. I need to cut them to size. There's a piece of material outside I've got. Um, and then, once I've done that, I will see if that is enough in terms of bracing. It may mean that I still need another piece at the bottom each side um, and I may do that as well so I shall crack on and show you what happens when I've done all of that table of some description. So far, not too grim, okay. We've just got to put this bit in here, like that, and I think we've got to start something then when it's varnished and what have you. I don't think it needs any more bracing. I don't think so. We could actually, you could actually put a lower shelf on there if I wanted to. We'll have a look when it's in the front room gauge it from there but um, let's just get this piece on take it in the front room and then have a look at it ah. right ah. 
Right, well, here it is. Um, a coffee table. Now, I know it looks a little bit naff or a little bit gash or whatever you want to say, uh, a bit rough and ready, but if I sand the top, which I shall do, and then if I um, varnish it, I think that'll look nice. And actually, I've got some of that blue paint that I used in my bathroom. Now, I could use some of that and paint the, the legs and stuff, and that might actually you know, make it look a bit more fun. Might make it look a bit comedy, I suppose, the blue. But, um, or sand down the uh, the legs and, and, and use linseed oil. But I think um, the wood, the, certainly the wooden top goes well with the wood that's in here and the fire and the brick and the overall house thing. So, I think that's quite good, but I definitely need to varnish that. That might be a job for the morning or later on this evening. Um, and then have a look at the legs and see how we get on. But on the on the whole, I'm quite impressed. Uh, impressed. So you've got to imagine a few books, some coasters, coasters, definitely coasters, and a cup of coffee. I think that's the thing that we've got to imagine and, and seeing how it blends into the room. Did you see that? There's a drawer. So it's the following day now. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, last night I gave the table a coat of varnish. Uh, it's only really had one coat and it probably needs another one. I'd really like the top to have a nice, um, almost glassy finish. But at the moment, I think the first one has just soaked up, the wood has just soaked up the varnish. So it's not quite done that. And, and then I was thinking about it last night in bed and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm not happy with this. It really needs a drawer and a bottom shelf. So today um, I've been fiddling in the kitchen. I didn't do any filming because it was an absolute um, <laughs> full on task to make a drawer. But I've made one and here it is. It's, it's not brilliant. Um, it's a little bit stiff, I grant you. Uh, it works and it may be something I'll modify and change in time. There's lots of things. Um, managed to get a, a bottom shelf on there as well. I have to thank Merlin who popped in whilst I was in the middle of making the uh, drawer and came and uh, sat and drank tea with me. <laughs> he did actually, he did lend a hand a little bit, but um, it's mostly my own work, I'm pleased to say. Um, and I'm very happy with it overall. I know it looks a bit weird and it's not everybody's cup of tea, but do you know what? I made that with my own hands and I'm very proud of the fact that I made something and I didn't just go and buy it. And you may argue it's, um, it's more practical than aesthetic, but in my house, you know, that's what I love about it. So there's a bottom shelf I can put magazines, not that I really read magazines, or larger format books or bits and bobs, towels, cushions, who knows what. And then on the top, of course, you can read, uh, you can put, leave books and maps and cups of tea. Mince pies at Christmas, that would be the great thing. And then in the drawer, which I still need a knob. I need a knob, to. I haven't yet to find a knob. I thought I had a knob. Uh, but um, some people say I am a knob, but um, I need to find a knob so that open and shut the drawer a bit more easily um, and maybe decorate it a little bit, but I need to wax some more varnish on. I haven't had a chance to do that, but there it is. I made a table. I made a coffee table. If I only keep it for the, the Christmas period and find something else, so what? It doesn't matter. It's all spare wood that I found and I gave it a go. And I think that's really the the best thing you can say giving it a go it's been very satisfying i've learned something and i hope you've enjoyed the video anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow like subscribe become a patron support what i do and i'll try and keep making these videos sometimes out and about in the countryside sometimes at home knocking up tables or whatever anyway till next time bye 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 <laughs>